how does your larynx position affect how natural your voice can sound? Let's talk about that today. Hi and welcome to today's video. Let's jump right in. You can either darken your voice or brighten your voice. What we want to achieve is a neutral larynx position. That only means that you let your larynx move freely where it naturally wants to go, which is when you go higher, it naturally lowers. However, you don't want to lower it beyond what should be natural and like a neutral position. When you speak and you gently put your hand right here, you can already feel that it moves up and down all the time. The larynx is designed to where it is in different positions depending whether, whether your voice goes up or down in pitch and also depending on the different vowels, it moves. And in order for it to move freely, you don't want to constrict it, you don't want to push it in either direction. Naturally, the progression is when you sing lower, it relaxes up just a bit. And when you sing higher, you need more vertical space. And in order for that to happen, your larynx lowers and that entire vocal box there, it just has a little bit more of a vertical, vertical space to give it that resonating space. So let's talk about voice colors. When you lower the larynx before you actually go high, it creates a darker tone, which sometimes we want. So let's do this. I sing low and dark because sometimes I want to do that on purpose because when I do it sounds more mysterious and that's what I do to sound more mysterious so you, you, you can use that for effect, but that's not your natural color. And also it will create strain when you do that over long stretches. So my natural color is like, uh, I will sing naturally with my larynx freely moving. See, it's, it's exactly like my speaking voice. It's not darkened. It's also not raised. A raised larynx, when you really pull it up, it will brighten the tone, which sometimes we want to do on purpose, but most of the time it will create strain if you do it too much. So, this is a raised larynx, and I want to create more of a poignant tone. Na -na -na. We don't want to aim for an extremely nasal sound or, you know, pink is good and resonance is good, but it really does add more nasal resonance. So playing with your larynx only means you can really change the color of the voice a little bit. However, you still want to be aware of the fact that going higher means you need a little bit of a lowered larynx, not beyond what is natural. So again, you can feel here when you do a scale, Na 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 na. It does go lowered a little bit, but not way. So if I lower it a lot, I have a different sound. Na 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 na. Which sometimes I might want to go that direction, but you need to be careful. You want to have a tone that is natural. Of course, if you sing opera, there's a little bit of a different resonance that you're aiming for versus singing pop. In pop, we often don't layer, lower the larynx as much because you don't have to go maybe as high. Also, we can switch into head register maybe a little bit sooner. Well, it all depends on really the piece you're singing and the sound you want to create. But I want to just caution you to not darken beyond what is in the natural range and not to brighten beyond what's in the natural range because it will create strain over the long run. If you do that for long periods and I just continue to lower the larynx. I don't know how to lower my larynx because it creates strain and even when i go high see 
I'm, I'm exaggerating now, but it's, it's not a sound I want to go for. It's not a sound that is really desired if you do it too much. You don't want to go too far in either direction. You want to use it a little bit here and a little bit there, but be aware of that natural progression. So I hope this helped you today. If you want to join me and work with me in my online singing school, it is a monthly program where you can be part of a great group and we can all connect. We have a monthly live Zoom call on which you can get you can get coached by me and we interact. We have a Facebook group in which I post tons of fun stuff like a Mindset Monday because your mind is important and a exercise of the week every Wednesday. We have deep masterclasses where I go really in-depth every month. We have expert talks where I talk to people who are professional singers in the singing world about anything that's related to singing. I would love for you to join us. Check it out. The link is below. And I hope to see you soon in my next one of my next videos. If you have not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. When you come from a top pitch that you sing in lighter falsetto and or head voice, and then you come down back into chest voice and you want to sing it heavy, heavy is okay, but how you kill your voice very quickly is by getting very dark, much darker than you need to be, like so. Change the world. Falsetto. I'll be the sunlight in your universe. Also, you will end up flat. So what you want to pay attention to is when you change from falsetto or head voice back into chest voice to make it bright, forward, and high placed so that it's more like this. Change the world. I'll be the sunlight in your universe. I would think my love was really something good. So really changing into your chest voice to where it connects with the sound of your falsetto or head voice is how you will save your voice a lot of strain.